we're in Keelaw Park where there is a bee hollow in the, under the floor here. See the bees coming and going. Although it's winter, it's a nice -ish, warmish day. Uh, so bees are already flying, even though it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, rolled back the carpet so we can access the hive. Comes to about there. So it's a decent sized hive. Um, the aim is to get it down into just one box given the time of the year it is. Uh, so we'll see how we go. I've cut what I hope is the only cuts I'll have to do. Small chance I'll have to cut close to the wall, uh, particularly if there's a board between the eye joists um, over towards the brick wall. Um, but we'll play that one by ear. Um, yeah. Uh, thankfully, I've still got rags left over from uh, the Girl Scouts haul job that we did. Um, so I'll use them to block off back here so that I don't have these running back deeper into the cavity once I, I start working. But we'll now lift some timbers and see what we get. Okay, so this is an old wasp nest. It's all papery fibery and you can see that in the past there's been a old wasp nest in this spot. Um, now the beehive. That's the, obviously the newer part of the hive. It's all nice white comb. I'm really surprised that at this time of the year we've got white combs. So something's flowering for them somewhere, for them to be building. Anyway, let's lift more boards. They're 100% bringing something in, which is really surprising. Um, and not in small amounts, in quite big quantities. So we actually have honey in this hive. Um, we'll frame it up, put it in the hive so they've got resources and food. But yeah, it's um, looking good so far. Uh, I've um, blocked up the back half of the hive with rags and I'm blocking up down the side there as I go along. It is slower than we hoped given the time of year we're doing this. It is midwinter. Uh, it's just there's lots of honey in this hive and it's making it um, more sticky and slower to do and um, got to be a lot more careful as well and it's really fragile um, because they've recently built a whole bunch of it but oh well we just keep plumbing along and get the comb out so we can get bee vacuuming. We and now at the brood, there's drone brood on the right, um, so male brood and worker brood throughout the middle. Um, very productive. It's almost like it's decided it's already spring and it's starting to explode. There we go, so I guess we're in for a mild winter. so much brood it, it is really like they think it's spring uh, they're massive amounts of brood lots of drone brood uh, and they're making new comb and filling it with nectar so um, it, we've had a quite a few rainy weeks um, but this this week has uh, been the beginning of some really mild like 16 degrees Celsius days and it's clear the bees are loving it. So it's a fair, fair bit harder now. You can see the cross timbers there and the hive goes back behind them. So yay, a little bit more complicated but we'll get there, it's just things that slow, slow the work down. There we go. Oh, no, it stopped doing it now. There was a bee there doing the little waggle dance. 
and telling other bees where to find nectar and pollen and whatnot. Anyway, we'll, um, we'll keep going. The cross timbers uh, with their pre floorboards uh, to keep the eye joists um, in position, which now the floorboards can do, um, which meant I was able to take them out um, and access deeper into the hive easier. Um, you'll see there's still a lot of bees in there, Queen is still in there. Um, We'll get her out very shortly, but we're nearing the end of the comb, and then it's just a matter of catching the queen, and of course be back in. Okay, so oh, there she is. Queenie's just there. Just run to the other side. Um, now she's hard to find. I'll put her in a cage. And um, we're nearly done. There's one sheet of comb left, which is all drone brood um, or drone cells, so I won't worry about them. We'll just cage the queen, get her in the box, and then um, cut that last comb and start framing them up. Um, so there we go. There we go. So queen is there at the bottom of the cage, the queen clip. There we go. So we will. Hang her between the bars of this frame. If I can spread the frame, golly. Come on, there we go. Oop. There we go. So, clean clippers. Now there. These can get in and out to her. Um, and we'll just put one more frame in. Put a another box on top so they don't either heat while we be vacuuming and we can finally start be vacuuming it's been slower than I hoped so we're now up to be vacuuming the bees uh, the extra box is just so the bees don't overheat while we're vacuuming because it does get hot in there uh, they don't actually get sucked into the vacuum they get sucked into the box and there's a mesh preventing them going down into the vacuum we don't worry about the bees on the window and that first because they, they're there, they're not going anywhere. Our goal is to get the bees that are in the cavity first. Once we've got the bees in the cavity, then we focus on all the ones in the room. So, there we go. So it's mostly done. There are still bees running around between, in the cavity between the brickwork. Um, we won't be able to get every bee. Um, we'll get a lot of them, but we won't get everyone. Um, but I'll now start emptying the room of equipment I don't need so that it um, gives the time for more bees to come into the cavity. There we go. Uh, no more bees on the windows. I use the cross pieces as now bracing pieces because the uh, nails weren't along really a good spot so I got too close to the edge I need to brace the timbers as I put them back still got some bees inside I'll keep bee vacuuming for a little bit longer but we're nearly done thank you duckies we've finished bee vacuuming uh, filled the cavity with all the rags we were given plus the ones from the girl scout uh, girl guides uh, not enough rags, but I forced up the rags up against the entrance, so fingers crossed nothing happens and another hive gets in here. But I've used what I was given, plus some of extra that I already had. Anyway, we'll start putting the timber on. We're nearly done. And there we go, the boards are back. Um, these are... Uh, running around in the hive. I'll take these girls out into quarantine and lay the carpet back. And there we go. Carpet is back pretty much as it was found. It was already lifted at the corners. I think they're replacing the carpet or something they said so I suspect they had already previously lifted the carpet to 
have a look. Anyway, all done. Um, weirdly enough, rolling it back for so long allowed that end to dry out. It was uh, all wet. I'm not sure what with, but anyway, um, we're done.